All right, guys, I'm back. Um, sorry for no videos or the, the lack of videos in the past couple weeks. <clears throat> but um, so I'm get a little close, get a little closer. All right. All right. So um, yeah. So so like I said, I'm sorry for the for the lack of videos for a couple weeks. Uh, uh, I'm back on my back on my computer. I don't, know, I don't know why I didn't didn't think of it before. That's how I started it it's on my computer. It's probably easier than doing it on the phone. Um, but it's an iPad. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna make this video on the Bucks. Um. You know, talk about the Bucks and you know, and their and their big wins lately, and then um, and then and then I'll get straight to my Week 13 predictions, which I've been doing pretty good lately. So, all right. So, um, obviously, you know, obviously we're coming off a big win of being by uh being being in Seattle. Um, I mean, in that game, yeah, we started off hot, and then, and then, uh, and then, yeah, the offense kind of sputtered, um, you know, throughout the second, third, fourth quarter. And we started off, you know, fourteen nothing, quick start. And then, but hey, I mean, shout out to the defense. That that defense was, man. Weren't for that defense, <laughs> we uh, it could be a, could be a lot different feeling here today. I mean, all around, I mean, that, that, that was a great defensive showing. Probably, that probably the best defensive showing. Uh, the, 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 that defense, that our that Bucks defense has had. In, in years, and, and that says a lot. Because back in the days, I mean, <laughs> the defense was <laughs> nothing to joke around with, and it was it was that caliber. Um, I mean, you can say all you want how Seattle. I mean, their line is not <laughs> their line is complete garbage, and and um, you know they can't they can't protect. Uh, and, and you know and they don't have Marshawn Lynch and they haven't had a great running game and they've had to rely on Russell Wilson and, and, uh, and oh Seattle's not the same team on the road and, and all of this but this is the Bucks we're talking about a year past we would have not won that game we were not even competed in that game. And we found a way to fight and close and close the deal. In years past, the team would have not done that. So and then that Chiefs win. I mean same thing. You know, fun we we close that game out. You know, in 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 Arrowhead, that's a tough place to play, and we and we got it done. And nobody really physically intimidates the Seahawks, and and we, the whole team, physically intimidated. I mean, we shut Seattle down on offense. We shut them down. You don't shut that team down on offense. I mean, they may not have a may not have a powerhouse in offense, but they were kind of hot on offense coming into coming into that game. Yeah, sure, they may not have much of a much of a, a run game, but. 
the line has been finding a way. I mean, they did beat the Patriots a, a couple a couple weeks ago. And, and the way this team fought, fought as a team to win that game, that was something special to watch. That was like, oh my gosh. I mean, just sitting there watching the game, was like, that, that was a great team win. I mean, and to be honest, I mean, the, we shouldn't have shut them out. We shouldn't have won that game like 27 to nothing. I mean, that, that's how bad that we shut them down. I mean, the only offense they had was Russell Wilson um, running the ball. That's all they had. Um, okay, so enough about the Seattle win. I mean, well, good win. We're moving on, we got, we got now we got San Diego this week. Um, actually, we'll, we could talk about San Diego now. They're making a whole new, whole new, uh, whole new video. So um, so so on to uh, San Diego. Um, we're in San Diego. Um, honestly, you know, we, we play a lot better on the on the road for some reason. Um, that, didn't, that didn't come up when I watched my face, <laughs> but um, so obviously, you know, in, in San Diego, we are um, we're obviously better on, on the road. But, um, I mean, they are better. They are better than their record it indicates. Um, they're, I mean, their offense is nothing to play around with. Um, the defense is going to have to, going to have to, uh, continue what it's doing. Um, because his offense is no joke. I mean, Philip Rivers is a—he's a top quarterback in in, in the NFL. Um, M Melvin Gordon. I mean, he's 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 running hard. Um, you know, he's um, uh, you know, but doing some good things. Um, you know, um, but they could put the points on the board, and and their defense has some. Sp their defense has some uh, half half players. I mean, they have Joey Boza, who's been, um, you know, he he he's been having a pretty good uh, rookie season. Um, and they have they have um, Brandon Flowers, and he made some plays. Um, I just saw they have they had the other corner, uh, Casey Hayward. Yes, I believe he lead the league in in. I think either in picks or pass defense, or both. I don't know, but he's made he's he's made some plays for him. Uh -huh. yeah, safeties. And, I don't know. I don't know how good their safeties are. I think their safeties are. Eh. Um, yeah. And Mentai Teo and um, I don't know how he's been. Um, I think he's been eh. Um, uh, Melvin Ingram, I mean, he's a, you know, a decent linebacker to, to deal with, um, but their offense, it, it's story. I mean, Phillip Rivers, Melvin Gordon, um, Travis Benjamin, um, uh, you know, their free agent ag acquisition that they got from, uh, Cleveland. You no, know, no, the good it's a speed threat. Um, uh, Tyrell uh, Williams, he's he's been you know showing up. Believe believe he's a, a, a rookie, uh, not not mistaken. Um, but I mean, their defense is still in question. If the offensive line continues what what they're doing. This game is going to be. This game should be just like the Seattle game. 
Except, obviously, we're not gonna, we're not gonna shut them down. Except, you know, we're gonna score more points. And and they're and they're and they're gonna get like, I don't know, 17, 21 points, somewhere around there. And and we should get like, at least, um, you know, we should get at least you know 24, 27, you know. 28 points. Um, no, if no, the line continues what they're doing. Um, I know uh, Chris Conti's out, which I mean it's kind of a bummer, but uh, Keith, but uh, Keith Tandy is perfectly uh, capable, and and we got and we signed um major right back uh, the other day. Um, so, so, so he can also he he can also come in and, and do some things. He's at least a veteran, so he he can at least he can at least be be he can at least be in the right spot, all right, uh, on the defense. To put it that way, because because he was with us in, dur during the off season, so he knows the terminology and stuff, and you know, and he can uh he can pick it up. Um, so. But I perfectly, you know, I, I I expect us to win this game, just like all Bucks fans do. You know, I expect us to win this game and you know win our fourth straight and uh, keep making that playoff push. Um, and you know, and, you know if, we, if we do have a plan and come out on top, hey, they had the house game here in uh, in a couple weeks. It's getting flexed. <laughs> Mark my word, it's getting flexed this Sunday night. Primetime football in, in uh, Jerry World against well, who they are now, the 10 to 1. The 10 to 1 uh, Dolphins. I mean, the uh, do Dolphins. Um, the Cowboys. So. Um, we well, you know Jameis in prime time. He showed up big time. So, so um, I think that's enough rambling about the Bucks. Um, you know, good good wins. Uh, you know, the team you know, team showing the good stuff, and now keep it rolling. Um, so now. Um, I'm, so I'll be, I'll come out with my with my uh, weekly predictions uh, for week thirteen of the NFL. But uh, in the meantime, um, yeah, I mean, enjoy this Bucks fans. I mean, it's been it's been good, yeah. good. Keep it rolling. Go Bucks. See you today. <laughs>